Hey, this is Mark Silver and Jim Reinbold. We just got a piece of email from our dealer, that's me, and it lists a Carlson Survey 2014 serial number, a civil suite number, and an OEM number. Now I'm interested in evaluating the Carlson Survey only serial number first, and I'm going to need this serial number a couple of times, and so I'm just going to put it into my Windows clipboard by highlighting it and picking copy. Let's click on downloads. This is on the Carlson web. They've done a neat thing here. They've automated this download tool so you can just paste in the serial number of what you want to install and then click on look up download and it'll automatically display the right items. In this case we want to download button number one which is Carlson 2014 EXE. This is the same install executable for all of the IntelliCAD versions and all of the AutoCAD versions except for AutoCAD OEM. Correct. Which is why when you look at the title it says Survey Civil Mining Takeoff for CAD. They're all in there. The serial number simply controls what's authorized. So all the features from all of these different programs are in this executable, and it's just our license number that's going to enable them. You'll also see here that there's a, a location where we can type in our name and our email address, click a couple boxes here, and, and Carlson will automatically send you notifications of updates and notifications of news for the products that we're downloading. Correct. Yeah, the general news, that's going to be a newsletter that comes out roughly once a month. Um, that would come to your inbox. And then the updates would be any time that we've done a series of bug fixes, when we release a new full version of your product, you'll get an email notifying you. And typically, you're going to find out about once a week if there's new software anyway, because it's going to do an update check when I start the program. Um, let's start the download. Okay, the download's completed. I'm going to click on Downloads, and since this has been hot-wired, we'll just open the, hot, the download folder and double-click on Carlson 2014. That'll launch the installer. And when I'm doing installations, typically I just click on the Next button every time it comes up. Now, if you're running on a 32-bit machine, this is a 32-bit machine, you'll only be given the options to install 32-bit versions of AutoCAD and IntelliCAD. Um, the next version will include the IntelliCAD 8.0 engine, and if you're installing on a 64-bit machine, you'll be able to choose 32-bit or 64-bit IntelliCAD, 32-bit or 64-bit AutoCAD. I'm going to choose the IntelliCAD engine and click on Next. I'm going to right click and during the installation I'm asked if I want to recover a profile from a previous installation. I've never installed on this machine before so I don't have any profiles but I could have transferred the profile over from my other machine brought it in here and then I would recover all my button locations, my screen colors, all of the preferences that I have. Click on Next. The installation is almost complete. Last couple screens here are talking about how you can get access to your updates, call in and ask about training, and also how to contact our support staff. Click on Next and then Finish. At this point you should have a Carlson icon on your desktop. There we go. About once a week when you start Carlson, it's automatically going to ask you if you want to check for updates on the web. One of the things to always keep in mind, sometimes you're going to start this and you're in the middle of a project, and even though it may say that there is an update available, you don't have time to let it download and install that update. You can always hit exit and come back to this later to install that update. At least you know it's out there. And since I just did the installation, I've got the latest software. I'll click on Exit. If it's the first time I'm doing installation, I'm given an opportunity to associate the DWG file extension with IntelliCAD.
Now here's a great feature. If I'm running a demo copy, every single time I start Carlson, I'm given an opportunity to enter a purchase serial number. If I don't want to enter a purchase serial number, I just want to evaluate it, I can click on OK. And I'm good to try all of the features that are in IntelliCAD. I'll make a new drawing here. Call it MS for my initials. Now the demo copies of Carlson are fully functional. There's nothing that won't work. No limitations whatsoever. So 30 days, the software ends. I'm given an opportunity to extend it. If I need to extend it, you can't call your dealer, though. You have to call Carlson Support. You have to call Support directly. They're the only ones who can issue the extended codes. I'm going to recommend, if you're evaluating Carlson at this point, play around with it for a couple days, and then make sure you have a problem. You can call Carlson Technical Support. And I know you're going to be amazed at what nice people they are and what great support they can give you. So even if you don't have a problem, make one up. But when you call them, don't tell them I said to say that. And then compare that support and service with any other CAD vendor that you might be considering. When you start the software, you can go in and tell it you want to enter your purchase serial number. Or from here, you can actually go to Help and About Carlson and click on Registration. Here you can enter a registered serial number or a purchase serial number and follow the registration process. Now in this case, I've decided that I love Carlson and I want to activate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my purchased serial number. The first thing I'm going to do is add my purchase serial number. Okay, I've typed in my final serial number. I'm going to click on OK. And then it's really important that you remove your demo serial number. So I'm going to highlight the demo and click on Remove. The problem is that demo code, once it expires, can actually interfere with a registered serial number operating properly. Now, while I'm here, I'm just going to register this serial number because it'll nag me to register it over and over again. I'm going to use the Internet. If I click on Install Info, this is my home use. So this is my second copy that I'm going to use for this serial number. This is my laptop. If for some reason you do have a problem with the install, do call our support staff and they can get that resolved for you. The email address here is important because while we're going to electronically install the change key for you, we will email a copy of all of this information to your email address. I never do the printout, I just hit next here. And that's the window you want to see. That's good news. I'll just click on OK. Now you're marked as registered. Click on exit. And I'm good to go. Now, if you continue using it in this session, Mark, you'll oh. probably get pop-ups periodically that says it's in demo mode. And Once can... you close this session and restart Carlson, it'll know that it's got a registered serial number. I'm ready to go. That's all there is to it.